In this video, I will log into the members area and show you exactly how it works. Put in your email, password, here we go. The charts are loading. OK, we see the first three charts of the best trending currency pairs and time frames. The trend direction, pair and time frame, and the trend drawdown. The drawdown is very low. The trend looks very nice. This blue line is the maximum drawdown. This is how the best trend is determined. No indicators, but pure price action. You can read more about this method in the ebook you'll get right after you subscribe. In the next charts, the drawdown is a little higher. If you want to see more charts, click on settings. Let's choose 20 charts. Save settings for the next time you log in. Go back into trends, and as we scroll down, the drawdown becomes higher, but it might still be good for trend following. The first chart is always the best one. If you click on more in this corner, you'll see a quick overview of the same pair on the other time frames. In this case, most of the arrows are showing upward movement, which is a good confirmation. So let's go back into settings. And here you can select only particular currency pairs or deselect pairs you do not want to trade or that are not in your trading platform. You can also deselect time frames, for example, the lowest time frames. You can set up alerts when the trend drawdown falls below, let's say, 15%. Then click Save. And the audible alert will let you know when the lowest drawdown on any chart falls below 15%. Another approach used by more conservative traders is to check the charts just once or twice a day and simply make a trading decision. Very easy. Now let's look into patterns. And what you see are, believe it or not, the automatically recognized patterns. Here's the pair and the time frame and the pattern name. Flag, triangle, falling wedge, so on. Notice that there are often more than two touching pairs on the trend line. This is because the recognition algorithm is very good. When the price breaks through the trend line, it's likely to continue in the same direction. So you can enter the orders just above or below the trend line depending on the overall trend. These are emerging patterns and here's something special. The history of completed patterns updated in real time. They are actually confirmed patterns because the price has already broken through the trend line. The problem with emerging patterns is that they can change several times or the price will not break through the trend line. Unlike emerging patterns, completed patterns can be accepted as trading signals. For example, let's click on the link. And here we see the flag pattern. The price has broken through the trend line and it's likely to continue moving this way, often with some pullback. You can set up alerts in the settings. Check the box near Alert when new completed pattern appears and click Save. And when the new pattern is confirmed with a breakout, you will be notified by the audible alert. Another approach is to check the charts just once or twice a day. Look in the history of the higher time frames and you see that trend lines work incredibly well. Yeah, so welcome back, man. So like I said before, you know, uh, I don't want you guys to see this type of videos that are making like you know <laughs> like uh, giving you analysis of the market okay if you see it like analysis of the market you know maybe you're just gonna watch it for only that day and that's all you understand but see it as if i'm showing you how to analyze the market even if it has to take you to come back over and over again to watch what is going on okay now look i've made a channel this will be going up right on this channel okay if you look at where my trend lines are even pointing you will know that this 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 thing is going up okay but i said 
it started from here bounce here but why why did it bounce back it bounced back because it hit the ceiling resistance man top it bounced back now what happened giving you a 60 percent retracement yes a 60 percent retracement now it's about to go up so what should you be doing now when it's about to when things like this is happening you see this long leg that happened before hitting the ceiling and breaking down this long this long leg that hit the ceiling and broke down okay let me do one line we are going to make this chart to look horrible so please try to this what i said come and watch this over and over again because <laughs> this chart is going to look horrible at the end of this video now we know this line is going up we've seen this one that drop giving us giving us 60 percent retracement okay great then it's going to travel right on this white one here this down one so what should you be doing if you have followed the arrow here while it was going up on these long legs following this arrow on these long legs following this on the long leg okay you see that is exactly what is going to happen here now you will see those arrow again which will follow on this long leg this one now is going to be your long leg this white one and from what is going on from what is going on from whatever is going on it's going to break the top it's going to break this high and it's going to go you know this is where the daily breakout is going to happen it's going to break this high and it's going to go okay it's going to break it's going to break this high this how to analyze the market man it's going to break this high okay it's going to break this high and it's going to go let's say it's going to break this resistance it's going to go we can talk about 200 pips moves from this from this junction we talk about 200 pips move traveling on this white line which i drew here okay traveling on this white line which i drew here you know the first thing is try to know where the market is going exactly you know this is what i've always been talking about you know if you don't know where the market is going you you will never know where to position your own mindset what is going to be happening inside your mind how will you be able to follow the market you know you cannot follow what you don't know where it's is it going you know what i mean if you don't know where something is going you cannot follow it you understand most of the failure that i've gotten on forex is because i don't know where the market is going but when i got my success is because i discover one thing about where the market is going and i continue to do the same thing over and over again every day until i became a master of what i do you know so this is why i'm opening your eyes because i know majority of you are beginners okay a lot of people have seen with their chart looking uh, looking like drastic nasty colorful fashionable design with some big tool you don't need a big tool to trade forex all you need is where is the market going and do you have one arrow that is telling you 